If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, you've got everything you need to create a cool looking YouTube profile picture, also known as a logo. That's what's coming up next. You dig? Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, it's a pleasure. And if you wanna not only upload, but amplify your videos, consider subscribing. So this is the logo that I was able to create for one of my YouTube channels. One of the things I always try to do is to create a very simple, clean, and elegant logo. We'll open up Pixel Matter now, and you'll see these are the most recent images I've made. To create a logo, AKA profile picture, I'm gonna click on the plus in the upper left-hand corner. Next, I click the plus again under create image, and that brings up this window. I'll select custom, and next what I wanna do is really uh, size the image that I wanna create, which is 800 by 800 pixels. Once I'm done, I'll simply tap on the screen, and I get the size that the image will become if I move forward. To do that, simply click on create. Now, this is the image canvas that we'll work on. You can uh, increase the size. This is 200%. This is 119%. We'll start about right here. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the plus in the upper right-hand corner. And you'll notice when you click on the plus, you have access to photos. You've got access to solid shapes. You can add text. And you can also add shapes. Perfect, I wanna create a logo that is round, so I'll click on the round icon, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just kinda of blow it up pretty big. Now notice, you don't have to stick with a perfect circle. You can create really anything that you want, and we'll create a, a circle that's 725 pixels by 725 pixels. That's close, there's an easier way to adjust it. If I click on the left side of the screen, I'll actually get a view of all the layers I'm using. I'll click on the circle layer, and now notice format. Now this is the style pane, we'll work with this as we move forward. First thing I wanna do is get the sizing right. To do that, I click Arrange, and then into Size, 725 by 725. Okay, super, now we've got a perfect circle, but I wanna center it in the canvas. I'll simply click on the circle, there you are. There we go. Now I've got the circle perfectly centered. It's just the way I want. I'm gonna click on the blue pane again. That's the one that we're currently working on, the circle. I'm gonna come back to format, and I'm gonna to go to style. Notice we've got a option to fill. I'm gonna click that, then I'm gonna go into colors, and I'm gonna create this color here. How did I get there? Well, I usually start with these options down below. I click on yellow, and then I come into current, and I continue to click in the upper right-hand corner. It takes two clicks, and I get this. And now we've got a nice mustard circle. I'll click on the image again, back to format. This time, I'm gonna select stroke, and I'm gonna increase it to, let's do 12. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks just about right. Now the next thing we wanna do is erase the background so it's a transparent image, uh, and the only thing that shows up is the circle. To do that, click on the paintbrush, upper right-hand corner. Click on Tools, and then Paint and Erase. And we've got it set to Pixel Eraser. The pixel size is 32. I only wanna erase the background, so I'm gonna select the background layer on the left. That's this now, and as you can see, I'm starting to erase the background. Now, if this is a bit putsy, just increase the size, no problem, because remember, you can't erase the circle as long as you're working on the background layer. Now I'm gonna select Done, and now what we've got is a really cool round circle. It's perfectly transparent, and it's gonna look great as an icon. And I love to create names that are very visual because it's easier for people to remember, especially when you design in this type of a fashion. Now, how did I get the individual in the circle? I did a search on YouTube for an icon. Couple of things to be aware of. First is you want to find a PNG file. 
Why? Because PNGs are transparent and that will allow your image to stand out nicely off the circle. So I begin my search with PNG and next what I did was I searched for running icon. And wouldn't you know it, I got all of these really cool icons. Now, it's important to make sure the icon you find, you've got a license for. You can't just download anything. And this was the icon that I found. So you can see here, it's got the background that's got that kind of checkerboard thing going on. Simply clicking on the image allows me to save the image. And then I can come back to Pixel Matter it's open in this window and I can select on the plus icon in the upper right hand corner and remember the option on the far left is images and you can see in the camera roll we now have the image we saved. I drop it in and everything is great but what's the problem? Why can't I see it? The reason I can't see it is because the layer is below the circle. In other words the layer that is on top is going to overlay everything else. How can we move our icon to the top layer? Simple, simply click down, hold, and drag it up, and now you can see it fits in just perfectly. Now notice we can make the image bigger, smaller. Uh, I think what I did is I, I leaned them forward a little bit. How do we export it? Click on the export option, upper right hand corner with the little arrow pointing up. I'll click that now. And I'm gonna select send a copy. Again, make sure to save as PNG. That will ensure that the background is indeed transparent. I use a lot of different apps to create different thumbnails, social media graphics, and more. Feel free to check out some of the videos in my YouTube playlist, how to create YouTube thumbnails, to dive in deeper with the apps that I use. If you wanna not only upload, but amplify your videos, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.